So I got a Pi 3 in today um, from Amazon. I paid $32 for this on like Amazon warehouse deals or whatever. Uh, but it looks new. The box looked new. The box looked like it had never been open. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, you can see I've already done some cutting. None of them are very precise, but I would rather have clearance because they're rather inset for the cut. So I would rather have clearance to get a little bit of a connector in there. This one's not great, but I can kind of get a connector in there. And I don't really need that because I'm going to have a lipo charger down here with its connector here. So that's going to be what's mainly used. I just, I don't know. This might have OTG support, but I already have four USB ports. So I don't really even need this at all. But I figured I might as well make a hole for it. Uh, I misdrilled the um, headphone jack hill be hill hole because that was the first hole I worked on. Um, and I marked it on the outside. The other ones I marked on the inside. Um, if I had marked this on the inside, I could have drilled it right, but I marked it on the outside. And then I realized it was easiest to drill if I had this here, so I couldn't see my markings. So I just kind of eyeballed it, and that was a really, really stupid idea. Um, the Pi pressure fits pretty well. But this here, I, I did this marking on the outside as well, which is pretty stupid, but whatever. Um, I could probably do this, and that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I, one of the USB ports is blocked, basically. Um, so I'm trying to do this through the camera, so let me do this in real life, because it's hard to do this. It, it fits very nicely in here, the Pi 3, which is nice, because this case is, it's called an iSlide by LifeWorks, and it's meant for the iPhone 4S. So you can see, this USB port I can't get flash drives into. Um, so I'm just gonna trim this a little bit, and then, um... The case mod should be done, and then it's just 3D printing a bezel, um, and mounting everything. And I'm still waiting for my screen to get in from AliExpress, but I have ordered that. And I'm also still waiting on a LiPo, which I have not ordered yet. Um, I do not know what LiPo I'm gonna get exactly. If, because I want something that fits very nicely between the pie and the screen. If you have any recommendations, um that are ten dollars or less because I don't look to spend too much on a lipo. Um so basically the biggest capacity I can fit. So if you know what fits well then that would be great or else I'll just look online and end up ordering something I guess. Um I'll probably go pretty conservative if I just look online because I don't really know what fit so I'm gonna pause the video to cut this and then be back in a second. <laughs> So now the USB port should be accessible. There we go, that seems about right. I'll grab a USB uh, cable. So here's a really crappy uh, micro USB cable, and it doesn't really fit, does it? See it in the other ports, and in this one it still does not quite fit. Oh wait, I just got it. It's just the pie's sliding when I try to plug it in. Yep, okay, it does fit if the pie is in its place. It's just we don't want the pie to slide. Or, wait. The problem is the pie's not mounted right now, so it's very hard to figure things out. I, I think it might have actually slid upwards as well when I slid it back into place. Yeah, it slid upwards as well a little bit. It's not as bad as it was before when it was slid back the pie, but it's... I mean, that's pretty good. That, that's probably making a connection. It's at a very, very slight angle. But I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know. I might grind it down a little bit, but I'm not going to bother filming that. I just wanted to quickly film this to say I have a pie. I have the case. And that is all.